Hello everyone. Today I will be talk talking about obliquity of ecliptic. This is in relation with shipmate phase one navigation paper. Before proceeding further, first let's try to understand what do we understand by obliquity of ecliptic. The angle at which the plane of ecliptic cuts the equination plane is called obliquity of ecliptic. The obliquity of ecliptic, the declination of sun, the hour angle measured from Aries or Ribla are related by a right angle triangle with a right angle forming at intersection of equinoxial and the meridian passing through the true sun. The true sun is always on ecliptic, but measurement of our angle is done on equinoxial. The true sun is always used for calculation of spherical triangle and neighbor dimension. The first point of it is the ecliptic intersects the equinoxial at two points called the equinoxial point. The equinoxial points when the sun appears to cross the equinoxial from south to north is called first point of Aries. This occurrence takes place on 21st Mars at Barnard Equinox. First point of Libra. The equinoxial point where the sun appears to cross the equinoxial from, from north to south is called first point of Libra. This occurrence takes place on 23rd September on Autumnum Equinox. True Sun True Sun is real sun on the sky, travels at bearing speed, moves on the ecliptic, and gives apparent time. Mention Mention is imagination, travels at uniform speed, moves on equinoxial, and gives mean time. If HSA, there is sidereal hour angle is between 0 to 180 degree, sun's declination will be south, and if the SHA is between 180 degree to 360 degree, sun's declination will be north. Now coming to the question. For an observer, the sun had a GSA of 240 degree 30 minutes and SSA 251 degree 20 minutes when it attained the maximum altitude of 69 degree 30 minutes bearing north. Find the position of observer. Assume the obliquity of ecliptic is 23 degree 26.7 minutes. This question is from MMD January 2024. First, let's try to understand the diagram. First, we draw one rational horizon diagram. Then we mark, as usual, east, north, west, south. And then we draw the equinoxial. This blue line is equinoxial. You can see on my pointer and this red line. This is ecliptic, the part of the sun. True sun moves on this part. It here the first point of it is the sun's declination is zero and after this the declination keeps on increasing and on reaching here sun attains maximum declination not thereafter it starts reducing and on reaching the first point of Libra declination is again zero and from here sun's south declination starts and south declination starts increasing and 
on reaching here sun's maximum declination south is reached from here the sun south declination starts reducing and reducing and when it is here again zero the angle the angle there is this angle and also this angle the angle which is formed at the equinoxial and ecliptic this angle is called obliquity oblique ecliptic in the given question SSA to 51 degree 20 minutes is given we know SSA that sidereal hour angle is measured westerly from first point of iris and it goes on like this and when it is first point of libra it is 180 degree then it goes on like this and again here 360 degree here the true sun moves on this red line that is ecliptic however the measurement of sun's hour angle is done on equinoxian i repeat again true sun moves moves on this red line that is ecliptic and the measurement of our angle that is SHA is done on this blue line that's equinoxial so the given SHA is 251 degree 20 minutes so starting from the first point of it is onwards and it is SHA is measured westerly and and goes like this and up to here is 180 degree and it is to 51 degree 20 will be somewhere around this between 180 degree and 270 degree so if we subtract 180 degree from the given SHA that is SHA see this up from first point of it is to alpha from here if we subtract first point of Aries to first point of Libra we will get this alpha to x-ray and if we get this this angle already given in the question obliquity of ecliptic and this one alpha to zero will be declination and at alpha 90 degree will be formed so in this triangle shira alpha x-ray 90 degrees form form at alpha so we will apply nepias rule and then we can find out the declination using nepias rule in triangle x-ray alpha shira that is uh, in this triangle sine of sine of ax is equal to tangent of alpha zero and tangent of 90 min 90 degree minus x-ray sine of ax is equal to tan of as that is alpha zero into tan of 90 degree minus x so we transfer this tan ax on on the left side then sine is equal to sine x divided by 10 of as so value of ax we already calculated here to 71 degree 20 minutes and 10 90 degree minus x x is 23 degree 26.7 so upon calculation we found as there is alpha shira alpha to shira the that will be declination is value is 22 degree 20.1 north and we also know that when a body is on the observer's meridian it's LHC that is local hour angle is 360 degree 
एन एल एस सी इज इक्वल टू जी एस सी प्लस माइनस लॉन्गिट्यूड इफ द लॉन्गिट्यूड इज ईस विल प्लस इफ द लॉन्गिट्यूड इज वेस विल सत्र फ्रॉम द जी एस सी सो एल एस सी इज थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री and if we subtract gsa from gsa from 360 degree we will get longitude that is 119 degree 22 minute east so now we got the longitude and we also need the we also know that meridian zenith distance that is 90 degree minus maximum altitude when sun is on observer's meridian maximum altitude altitude is already given in the question and mzd is equal to 90 minus maximum altitude that is given in the question 69 degree 30 minutes and we if we subtract we get this mzd is 20 degree 30 minutes south and its naming will be opposite to true altitude because the altitude is bearing north is given in the question so naming of mjd will be opposite to true altitude that is south and also we know that mjd and declension are of same name then we add together if they are of opposite name we will subtract so here mjd and declination are opposite names so we will subtract and we will get the latitude as 1 degree 50.1 north So therefore, we got the position of the observer is one degree fifty point one north, and longitude is one one nine degree twenty two minute east. We also know that the polar distance P X is equal to ninety minus declination. So ninety minus declination we already calculated above ninety degree minus twenty two degree twenty point two we get. 67 degree 39.8 now we just for confirming again we just throw this resting horizon diagram and the equinoxial wue and here nx1 nx1 here to no november to x3 1 If we put this value is 69 degree 30 minutes and the px1 that is polar distance is 67 degree 39.8 and we also know that np november to papa november to papa is equal to latitude november to papa that is np is equal to latitude is also equal to nx1 plus px1 This will become November to Papa, but if we add together, this is below is coming one thirty seven degree nine point eight, which is more than ninety degree. This is not possible, and therefore, we again put the values polar distance P X two Papa Papa X ray two. Is equal to sixty-seven degree thirty-nine point eight and NX2 November to X3 to sixty-nine degree thirty minutes. So we also know that NP that is November to Papa is equal to latitude is equal to NX2 November X3 to minus Papa X3 to November X3 to minus Papa X ray two. We get N P. We will get N P. There is one degree fifty point two minus north. We shows that this is correct. 